snack, and Essie, plus Sprinkles the bear. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Amy Jo for Nat and Essie, and oh my goodness, we are doing something fun today. We are gonna use this craftivity kit to make super string lanterns. Look at how cute these are. I really love how, well, first of all, pink is my favorite color, so I love how they have pink, but then also if you look closely, you can see that there is some type of gold yarn or um, fiber that they have included in the kit to weave into it. So <gasps> this looks so cute. Okay, let's open it up and get started. That's a pretty color of pink, a pretty shade of pink. Take a quick peek at the instructions. Obviously, I'll read these carefully before I get started. <laughs> or will I? All right, so our supplies. We have a light pink, a dark pink, and a kind of a minty green yarn. And then this is that gold fiber. It looks like there's some sequins. Oh, that's right. These light up. So there are some little um, battery operated like votive candles. Let's take a closer look. Ooh, that's really shiny. And lots of glue. Okay, I better read the instructions. If you decide to purchase and do this kit, you'll see that right here on the front page, they show all of the content. So you can check and make sure that everything that is supposed to be here is here. And then they have some really nice tips. So I think this is gonna be kind of a messy little project, which is fun. I love messy projects. Okay, so basically what we're gonna be doing is blowing up these three balloons and then coiling the string around them. We'll be dipping the string into glue and then we'll deflate these and this will be what is left. So I've done this with balloons before lots of times and it's really fun. So if you have some glue and some string and some balloons, you can do this too. Okay, I have everything opened up and organized and the first thing that we're gonna do is use this to make tassels. These are the tassels that hang from the bottom of the little lanterns. We're gonna start with our pink yarn and we're just going to Take it, hold it against the tassel maker, and then wrap it around 20 to 25 times. And we're gonna do the same thing with the gold, but we're only gonna wrap it around 10 times. Now I'm gonna take another separate piece of the yarn and wrap it around and create a knot right there. And then we just slide off our tassel. And to finish the tassel, we're just going to cut the bottom pieces. There. So tassel number one is complete. So you just repeat these steps with the pink and the green, which I'm gonna do next. Okay, last tassel. Okay, so we have our green, dark pink, and light pink. Those are cute. Okay, so <laughs> this is where the messy part begins. So. I have placed some cardboard down on my work surface and there are little plastic bags that come with this kit. So it says to hang it on the side of the table, but that won't really work that well for recording purposes. So I have a, a bowl with the bag in it and then I'm just going to pour the glue. This is what it says to do. It says to fill the bag and the string, um, I mean to fill the bag with the string and the glue and then to get the string or the yarn saturated with glue, not overly saturated, oh goodness, here we go. It's getting really messy already. 
<laughs> and I have um, blown up the little, it's kind of like a baby beach ball, blown that up and now we're just going to start wrapping. Oh. oh. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, I'm following the directions, but I was thinking that it would be better to take the yarn off of the um, little cardboard thing, but I didn't do it. Okay, it's going pretty well now. One tip I have for you is to get a coffee mug and have that nearby so that you can rest the beach ball. There we go. If you need to take a break or for when it is time for it to dry. <laughs> this is so messy. I would also recommend having some little baby wipes nearby. All right, so after you feel like you have enough of the um, whatever color you do first, um, when you finish that, then you can repeat the process with some gold. So I just cut off a little bit of the gold and let's see, we're gonna start doing the same thing. I'm actually going to cut the pink and be done with that for now. And we'll do the gold. I'm gonna use like a different technique <laughs> where I take my finger and wipe it along the string. And there's already quite a bit of glue on the pink, so the gold would probably stick anyway. There and then we can set it there to dry. Next, we're gonna do the green, and this time I took quite a bit, not all, but I took a lot of the green yarn off of the little cardboard piece. I don't know if it's gonna work better, but I wanted to give it a try. Uh-oh. <laughs> I have a big knot already. That's not a good sign. Okay, I have a new plan, another new plan. I'm just going to dip my finger in glue and then use that to get the glue onto the string. And I think for the third one, I'm gonna just paint the whole balloon with glue and then put the string on it. And I feel like that is going to be the easiest and best way to do this. <laughs> okay, I've made a huge mess. I don't know. Like, getting a knot out is hard enough. Getting a knot out of yarn that has glue all over it is, like, next level <laughs> difficulty. This is a messy one. This is a messy, messy project. So you don't have to stress too much about getting everything perfect because if there are little pieces like this, you can go back when you're done and kind of glue them down and tuck them in. So. It's hard because everything is so sticky. It's hard for that to not happen. So don't worry about that. Worry about things like this. <laughs> this huge knot. Oh. So one thing that I'm noticing is if you find that it's getting really sticky and you just stop for a few minutes and then just let everything kind of dry a little bit, that makes it easier. As my fingers get stuck to the ball. <laughs> okay, so. There we go. And then just like the other, when you get to the end of the green, you'll take a little piece of the gold and do that. All right, for the last one, I'm just going to paint glue all over <laughs> the little ball and see if this works better. I feel like it will, but who knows? I like to experiment, so. Okay, so now I'm just going to take the light pink and just do the same thing. So far, this is much easier. It's definitely um, less messy, seems faster. I would say that this is the best way to do this so far. I don't know, maybe there will be something that makes it more difficult at some point. I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes because the ball itself is really sticky with the glue, but the pink yarn is not that saturated, so I'm concerned that like when I pop the ball, the pink yarn will just collapse. So I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit and then I'm gonna paint over the whole thing with more glue. 
Okay, so about 20 minutes has passed. I added the gold string and I've been painting some glue on. And I think, I mean, this was easier. If this works, then I would say this is a pretty good way to do it. So I just, am, I'm not sure if there's enough glue on the individual pieces of yarn, but we will see. All right, so here they are, and I am just going to let them dry. It says to let them dry for 24 hours, so I think I'll set them outside. I live in North Carolina, and it's very hot here, so I'll set them out in the sun and see if that speeds up the process. Okay, so you guys, it's been 24 hours, and these are all dry now. I have to tell you, <laughs> I, have, I don't know if this is gonna work. So I'm supposed to um, start pushing the ball away from the yarn. That's what the instructions say to do. So that's what I've been doing. And my worry is that after I get the yarn away from the ball, I'm just worried the whole thing is gonna collapse. So, I don't know what's gonna happen. This is gonna be interesting. So I've just been, I've just been doing this. The next step is to take the valve out and to remove the air from the little balloon, and then we'll go from there. But I'm still working on um, getting all of the little strings pulled away from the balloon. So that's what we're doing now. Okay, just in case you are watching this so that you can learn how to do this or if you're if you're going to do this, I found something that works well, which is to push the balloon away and then kind of pull the yarn or string like this. So I'm seeing this and I'm thinking maybe this is going to work after all. Okay, I'm going to pull out and open the valve and try to release the air from the pink one. I feel like the pink one's ready. This does not look good. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, the air is out of it, so now I'm going to try to Roll this away <laughs> and hopefully reinflate the little lantern. It kind of looks like a bird's nest. Oh boy. Okay, let's see what we're working with here. I think I can fix this. I hope I can fix this. <laughs> okay, so Guys, it's not it's not great. So I have connected the the tassel to the little plastic piece where the votive sits, and this is ready to go into our lantern. <laughs> the lantern does not look great. Yeah, it just doesn't it doesn't look great at all. So it's really lost most of its shape after the air was deflated. I think it's some somewhat salvageable, but the pink one doesn't look great. So we're gonna keep going, <laughs> finish them all. So far, not, not great. Let's try the green one. When I've made these in the past, I've done them with balloons, and then at this stage you would just pop the balloon, and, and I feel honestly like that is probably a better option because the manipulating and squishing this thing is part of why the pink one you know, collapse. So I'm gonna try, just off camera, I'm just gonna try to um, just like suck the air out of this and then maybe that will work. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the green one is a little better. See how the, the pink one is just collapsing, but this one, I think sucking the air out of the little um, inflatable ball is the better way to go. So, okay, I'm gonna add the little candle and tassel to this. So we'll do the hot pink tassel on the green one. And these little clear plastic things come with the kit and you just attach the tassel and then the little votive goes inside like this. This one is actually very cute. The pink one is a disaster, <laughs> but this one is so cute. 
Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with the pink one. I'm gonna open up the valve and then I'll just remove all the air and we'll see how this one turns out. Okay, the pink one is definitely the best. And if you remember from the beginning of the video, the pink one is the one that I did um, using the directions to guide me where I got a lot of glue on the string and it was really messy. And then the light pink is the one that I did at the end where I just, <laughs> I just did it my own way by um, painting the ball with glue and then putting it on after. So you can see that using the instructions is, is how this one turned out and using my way is how this one turned out. So I think you should follow the directions if you do this. <laughs> I don't think I showed you this, but these are little battery operated candles. So these would be really cute like in a bedroom. They might be a little bit difficult to turn on and off. But can you see that that's lit up? All right, so the pink one is definitely the best. The green one is not bad either. <laughs> Woo, the light pink one. Not, not looking so good. But look at these, they're so cute. And here they are hanging up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon, bye.